Hello everyone, in this video let us use the script in order to get all the permissions. Now today I wanted to do something something different and I thought I'll probably uh, talk about permissions in Jira because uh, when you start using Jira, especially the administration part, you will eventually reach a point where you will have to manage the permissions and uh, using script owner or using the uh, APIs in, in Jira you can definitely uh, do that but I want to keep things uh, very simple in this video I want to basically get the list of all the permissions that is it that is all we'll be doing and uh, we'll uh, later on you know keep on doing few more things using the uh, APIs like uh, adding people to permission schemes or rather permission uh, and uh, then we'll, we'll, we'll also see how we can also modify things uh, using the APIs. Now I want to show you my Jira instance first and if I look at my Jira instance and if I go to my uh, permissions I want to basically start with uh, so I, I have different permissions in this particular uh, instance of Jira but I don't really want to talk about the schemes today I want to talk about the permissions because these are the permissions that are there for all the projects and depending upon who you grant this permission to you can give access to people and they can do further things like who can administer the project who can browse the project who will be the service desk agent if it is if it is a service desk based project who can create the issue, who can close the issue and so on. So in this video I just want to show you how to get the list of these permissions and later on we'll, we'll learn how to do other fancy things. So if I go to my code here, so by the way I'm using the permission manager and again I'm using a component accessor. So I'm just creating a, creating a variable called permission manager and if I type in here permission manager dot, uh, we have and by the way, the, the, the first thing that you can immediately see is has permission. But we are not really talking about users who uh, or user who has a permission or not. But we just want to get, uh, you know, the list of all the permissions. That is it. For, for, so, so, for, so for this example, I will be using something like uh, get all project permissions. So if I maybe, so, th so this is a collection and we need to iterate over this. So I can do each and uh, I can maybe add some you know log statements <coughs> so we can see the output so log.debug and uh, to get the current item or individual item in the list or collection you can use it uh, dot so you can see there see here that we have different things like uh, you know category key um, and, and the, the category here is basically the project permission category so if you look here you have different uh, categories like project permission, issue permission and uh, so on. So let us get the category first and uh, I'll I'll simply use uh, get project permissions and uh, and that is it I think. You can uh, go back to your code and I'm using of course uh, console here to run this. So the result is of course displaying something but we want to basically see the log because in the log we want to see the, the different uh, permissions. So I think it has printed the actual permissions but I wanted to print the uh, print the categories. So it would be get or, or just category. So there is no get method for that anyways. We'll run it again and uh, now you can see that we have different categories like uh, comments, projects and so on. And you you have the repetition here because it will get the category of that particular pro uh, permission. So if you look here, so basically this particular method that, that we are using uh, get all project permissions. So it will basically get all the project permissions that we have. And it will, and that is why it is uh, duplicating. But anyways, we don't really want this. We can also do <clears throat> something like this. 
so I'll add maybe or I'll, I'll just you know get rid of the cat category permission category I'll simply print in the project permission key or maybe let me say let me check the get method so get do we have anything like name so we do have name so it is basically the you know international so in GA you can also do translation and that is why you have this get name i 18 n key so uh, when you when you have the option to translate it will give you the translated version hopefully I, I think that I think that is how it works anyways so let, let us go back and uh, print this in the log so you can see all the permissions here like comment issues and so on and in case you want to count you can count so let let me quickly uh, and by the way, for example, permissions like browse project. So you can see that there is something called browse. Uh, permissions like uh, assignable user. So there is a permission for that and so on. And you can also do a few other things. Uh, maybe you want to print, uh, I'll just add a comma so that we have some separation. So it dot we can also print the key but I was looking at the so we have the category here yeah we, we can use the category this is fine uh, I think we I, th I think this is it uh, I, th I think these are you know some important things that you can do uh, so you can get the key of the permission which I believe will be slightly different because uh, it will have some other format so something yeah, it is more or less same uh, add underscore command administer project so it is more uh, clear I believe as compared to the actual uh, translated what is it name key and what else you can do here you can al always check with the with the permission manager so when you type in perm permission manager dot get I'm just trying to see I mean of course you have different things here like get projects uh, where you can pass the permission ID and the application user and I believe it will give you the projects where this user has access or has that particular permission so we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at those things later on I just want to see what all I can do here with the permission manager what all things I can get immediately and uh, get project get all project permissions is something that you know we wanted to start with and uh, I think this is, this is a good start because uh, when you are working with the uh, permissions of course the way permissions work in Jira is uh, using the permission scheme so when you have these permission schemes defined where you have uh, these different uh, permissions if you change a permission here the scheme applicable will give that particular permission or remove that particular permission from all the projects so right now this default permission scheme is applicable on just one project called task management but it can be three projects so if you give uh, let us say a browse project permission here to any log any logged in user so those logged in users will be able to see those three projects and so on so the way permissions work in jira is not really they don't really work alone we have to also consider the schemes and the association of schemes to different projects so we will continue ex exploring this further the whole idea of uh, using uh, script runner here is uh, to basically learn how jira works internally because uh, using script runner you are basically most of the things that we are doing uh, we are basically exploring the jira apis and uh, it also helps when you do these simple things like how to get the permissions how to create a group how to get a list of things you know how jira is internally uh, how jira works internally you also learn about the architecture and i think this is a really good way of uh, not only doing automation but also to learn how jira works so this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much